Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Top 5s here on Borderlands the Pre-Sequel. This is the series where I pick a relevant topic or category in the pre-sequel and then bring you guys a top five list of things to do with that category. So today we're going to be carrying on the top five guides and the, uh, the top five legendary guides as well, which I've been doing a lot for weapons lately. And I'm going to be showing you the top five best legendary grenades in the game. This includes DLC and uh, vanilla legendary grenades as well and uh, yeah I've got a good variety of the list going and I'm going to show you guys what I think are my uh, my top five best legendary grenades in the game so we've got a good selection to pick from today anyway without further ado let's get on with the guide so at number five we start things off with a uh, nice shock grenade this is the Stormfront which I've decided to pick today this is a Vladov grenade and uh, it's very uh, strange in compared to other grenades. It's kind of like an area of effect spread grenade. As you can see when you drop it down in an area it uh, kind of drops it down in a little circle uh, with little spikes of grenades coming out of it. These things will absolutely surround enemies uh, trapped inside them and just strip the shields away especially being shot and uh, also it's good for crowd control as you can see I'm, uh, I'm chucking them spreading them out a little bit anything in all these areas is getting downed and uh, yeah just a really good handy crowd control grenade so at number five we have the Stormfront moving on then to number four I've come to the lunar launching station to demonstrate this guy right here the pandemic uh, the reason I've decided to come here is because it is a corrosive grenade so uh, obviously works better against uh, metal bots and things like loaders in Borderlands 2 things like that anything made of metal will get rocked by it so uh, this is the Lost Legion power suit noob and as you can see this thing is uh, well as the red text says spread the sickness it just looks like corrosive virus it doesn't look nice at all to be around and as you can see the Lost Legion power suit noob got absolutely wrecked by it so if you want a good cor corrosive grenade go for the pandemic next at number three we've come to the Hyperion hub of Hellrism for the demonstration of the bonus package this is an explosive tall grenade I've come up on the railway line nice and high to show you guys exactly how this thing works uh, if you've played Borderlands 2 you'll know exactly how this works this thing has massive damage and huge spread as well a typical torque item it's just complete and utter explosions everywhere it is absolutely huge be very careful though because you can soon get caught up in the middle of it make sure you throw this thing a long way away or like I am here uh, get up high so it doesn't actually down you because I've been down many times to this thing but uh, yeah as you can see complete havoc and a huge explosive damage makes this thing my number three pick so just missing out on the top spot is this guy right here it is the Quasar which I use a lot in these games the main reason I use it is it's just a very quick um, fuse time uh, it pulls enemies in and it just strips shield this is my number one shield stripping um, grenade to go to it is absolutely brilliant right at the end as well there's a nice little explosive shock um, and you'll see that it does a hell of a lot of damage it does kill enemies quite well but uh, anything that's near it or in the general area of it will get the shields um, completely stripped which makes it easier to attack enemies even the ex-stalker right here um, goes down to it pretty nicely so at number two I've decided to pick the Quasar so our number one is finally here and uh, we're going to be going to the dark siders tower to test this thing out but my number one pick is the uh, grenade introduced in the claptastic voice dlc the mega nade this thing uh, like it says in the red text suck 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 is absolutely awesome so i'm going to run around and get a few enemies spawned here because it works better uh, in large crowds but basically this is a uh, kind of like uh, wait, just absolutely crazy you chuck it down and uh, you just get these implosions that suck enemies completely towards it 
um, and it's kind of like a wormhole effect as you've seen uh, with certain things in bo previous Borderlands. Got a bit too close to it there, not the grenade's fault, my fault for not getting, uh, you know, getting it right. But it will just keep pulling and pulling and pulling for about four or five turns and then anything that's in its uh, little radius will get exploded. So uh, yeah, really good grenade, probably the best uh, I've seen in the uh, Borderlands game so far. Very fun to watch, very fun to use and just good to get all of the... Uh, all of the crowd together. This thing would have been awesome against Hyperius in Borderlands 2 um, to get all of these little bots together. So yeah, at number uh, one I've decided to pick the Mega Nade. So there you go guys, that is another top five guide over and done with. That was my top five best legendary grenades in Borderlands the pre-sequel. Let me know if you agree with my list, uh, anything you'd change, what your top five list would be, things like that, or any other suggestions for any top five guides. Put them down in the comments below, I'll read through them and uh, have a look at them. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching, really hope you've enjoyed another episode of Top 5 here on Borderlands Pre-Sequel. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.